Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, this may look familiar to you all because today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on the makeup look that I wore in the Jeffree Star concealer and powder review. Um, I had a few of you write me and tell me that you really love the look and that you wanted a tutorial. So today, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, it's just a really pretty hot pink, rainbow pink glitter look and a glossy lip glowy skin it's really cute you can wear this on your birthday or going to the club or going to church I really hope you like this tutorial I think this is by far my favorite eyeshadow makeup look that I've recorded so far so anyways I'm just gonna quit the talking and we'll get right into the video living life like a dream but I don't get no rest I just got a new girl but I'm thinking oh next start it off hey guys so I already have my brows done and I'm just priming my lid with some concealer and then I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm using that orange color that's my friend's baby patient she's so cute and I'm just taking my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush in the number JH32 and I'm placing that color in a rounded shape. I'm just tapping and going back and forth. I am not sweeping or brushing yet. I really just want to build up that pigmentation. And I didn't speed this up for you guys on the eyeshadow part so that you guys could see how long it does take to do this. Especially if you have a shadow palette like this where you really need to blend it up. They weren't that pigmented, but I mean, if you take your time, it will turn out good. And so, yeah, I'm just building it up. And then now I'm taking a blank brush and I'm just blending out those edges to diffuse it and make it more soft. Alright, so as you can see, the left is when we diffused it with a blank brush and the right is when we first placed it. So that's the difference. So now we're taking that hot pink shade and I'm going to be placing that with my Morphe M433 brush and we're just going to be building up that color. As I said before, I did not speed this up for you guys so you guys could see exactly how much time it takes to build up the color um, to have a really good gradiated shadow. So yeah, I'm just um, tapping back and forth as I did with the orange shade, but I'm not bringing it up as high. Also, I just want to let you guys know that this palette was extremely difficult to work with. Like as you can see, the pigment was just staying stuck on the brush and it was not transferring onto the eye. So it does take a bit longer to build up that color versus um, a higher quality palette. So I would recommend you guys checking out the Morphe palettes. They're still affordable. Um, they're a little more than BH, but the pigment is definitely easier to build, easier to blend. So yeah, just be forewarned that with this palette, it does take a little bit of more elbow grease. Oh my god, this is so much blending, the building, girl. Woo! Okay, finally. So now I'm taking Lit Cosmetics, uh, their glitter base, and I'm just placing that on my lid with my finger in the shape that I want the glitter to stick and then I'm going to be taking this glitter I got from iMats um, from this company called Beauty Creations. They were giving them away for like five dollars. They had a bunch so um, I'm not sure if they sell it on their site but I'm sure you guys can find chunky glitter anywhere. Just be careful um, if your eyes are sensitive but I'm taking that with a flat brush and placing it all over the lid and then I'm taking a white gold loose pigment and I'm placing that under Underneath my eyebrow it's just gonna give a lot of sparkle and shine and then after that I'm taking a blank brush and I'm blending those edges so it's not as harsh 
taking my lemon head glitter in the color adult film so pretty i'm placing that on my inner corner with tapping motions if you swipe it can take away the shadow so just be careful um but it is eye safe and look how pretty oh my gosh and then i did my eyeliner off camera and i'm just gonna clean up underneath all that excess eyeshadow and i'm very very precise take your time with this because you don't want to wipe away the eyeliner Alright, so after we primed with concealer, I'm going to take that hot pink shade and I'm going to tap that all along the lower lash line just so we can get the most pigmentation out of the shadow. And I'm going to be taking that blank brush again and diffusing the edges so it doesn't look harsh. And after that, um, just apply the glitter adhesive on your lower lash line and add some more of that chunky glitter. Alright guys, so now we're going to speed it up a little and I'm going to be taking my Tatcha primer and I'm going to use that to prime my face and fill in all of my nasty pores and fine lines. Don't forget that forehead. So then I'm taking my Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation and my Fenty Foundation. I use the color 310. And I'm just gonna use both of those. The Armani was a bit orange and too sheer for me right now, so that's why I layered Fenty on top, but it just gave me the most perfect color and the most flawless finish. Next, I'm taking my favorite concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, in the shade Tan Sand, and I'm just placing that underneath my eyes, around my mouth, my chin, and my nose. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my sponge. With my L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Concealer, this is in the shade Coco. I'm going to contour my face with it, or just warm it up, basically cream contour. And I'm just doing it in the shape of a three. So the cheekbones, the forehead, and the jaw. Let me know if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial on highlighting and contouring. I could definitely do that for you guys. And I'm also going to blend my nose out with a MAC brush. I'll put it on the screen because I don't have it with me right now. But this is what I love to use for nose contouring. And bring it up all the way into the front of the eyebrow. It'll make a difference. So now I'm taking my Fenty concealer in the shade 310. It goes with the foundation. I'm using that to highlight my face and shape up that nose contour. For the center of my nose, I'm just using a fluffy shadow brush to blend that out just so we can have a more precise pinched nose. So that's a good trick for you guys to learn. And then take your sponge and blot all over. That'll soften and diffuse the lines. So now I'm taking Jeffree Star Powder in the shade Beige and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes only, not underneath my contour this time, and my forehead. And I'm just going to let that set for a few minutes so we can you know get right and then you want to sweep it off with your fluffy brush now I'm gonna take my Kylie bronzer in the shade almond and I'm going over all of that cream contour we did and I really like this shade because it is cool toned and the cream that we used was warm toned so it just gives it a nice neutral balance for blush, I'm taking Batty on the Block by Kylie Cosmetics, my new freaking favorite blush, and I'm blending that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm taking this um, White Tea Witch Hazel Spray from TJ Maxx, and I'm just going to set the whole face. It smells so good, guys. I promise. Those face sprays at TJ Maxx are worth it. And then I'm taking this MAC Extra Dimension eyeshadow in Stylishly Mary, and I'm going to put that as a highlight on my cheeks. They don't make this anymore, I'm sorry, but I think they have a similar highlight. For lips, I'm using this Benetint Lip and Cheek Stain on my lips just to give it a little bit of color. And then I'm taking this gloss from the beauty supply store and I'm just going to gloss my lips up and make them look nice and juicy. 
oh my god you guys this is the final look we're all done i am in a, a love i'm literally going to wear this all day and i have nowhere to go like i'm just gonna take hella pictures this came out so cute you guys look at that highlight the glow i can't like it's all so perfect except for my hair i wish i had a wig on or something because but anyways i'm still cute this is the final look. I really hope you liked this makeup tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If you guys want to see more videos, of course, just comment down below what you want to see. I'm going to be posting three times a week, guys. I'm going to try to hit it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm moving, so um, I'm going to make it work as best as I can. But if I can't hit those dates, then it's just going to be three times a week. I'm going to stick to it. If not three, two, two. Okay. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me all of my instagram and social media will be linked down below don't forget to follow me i'm very active snapchat everything everything will be in the description box all the products listed i really hope you guys have a great day and until next time i'll see you guys in the next video